Hello, it's Employee A Million, and I just thought I'd share with you some more holiday updates, just like I did last year, and just let you know what you'll have to expect from next year, what I'll do, how my channel's gonna change, and in general, what you should be excited for. So, here's what I'm gonna do in 2020. SpongeComs will continue well into the end of season one and the start of season two. So don't worry, you'll get more of those if you're obsessed with me listing off Spongebob facts about each episode. I have a lot of fun doing them and I see that they get quite a bit of views compared to my other videos, so I might as well continue them because it's just a win-win situation. And plus, there were a lot of good Spongebob episodes in the year 2000, which will be 20 years ago soon, so yeah, way to make you feel old, sorry. And the first three things I'm going to review next year are Pokemon Orange Islands and the Johto Journeys. Not the full Johto saga, just the first season of it. Thought I'd just do season two and three together because it's roughly about the same amount of episodes as season one, so I don't feel like doing too much. Remember, I've still got a 100 episode rule. And just for consistency, you know? And the thing I'm going to review after that is The Proud Family, which is going to be the first Disney show I review. I watched a lot of Disney Channel growing up, and I want to see if it still holds up. And The Proud Family certainly does, even though it's not on Disney Plus at the moment. But hopefully it is soon. There is a reboot coming out, so that's why I put it on my agenda. What I'm going to review in March is The Fairly Odd Parents, just in time for its 19th anniversary. At least the 19th anniversary of when it became its own show. And yeah, this is another childhood favorite. I really liked the Fairly Odd Parents growing up, and I wanted to see if it still holds up. Seasonal rot notwithstanding. Speaking of which, I'm only going to do season one to five, so the pre poof seasons. I don't know if there's a better name for it. Classic Fairly Odd Parents, Golden Age Fairly Odd Parents. Whatever. It's what I think of when I think Fairly Odd Parents at the moment, so yeah. However, the structure of these reviews will change a little bit. Instead of saving trends and seasons and favorite and least favorite episodes for the end of the video, I'll talk about them throughout the video, so you get a better sense of how the show evolved over time. So, just to make it a little more organized, just to make it not feel like you're jumping through time too much, and so you get a better idea of what the show was like from start to finish. So, that's the only major renovation to the reviews that I'll be doing. Otherwise, they'll be the same as what you got this year. Expect those three to kick off the new year, as well as a Q&A session on January 31st. So basically, I'm going to answer some questions from you guys, as long as they're sensible and not too much about my personal life or what I'll review next, because the answers to what I'll review next is eventually, because I don't plan on stopping YouTube anytime soon. I do really like doing it, so ask away in the comments of this video, and I'll upload a Q&A video on January 31st, 2020. That is if YouTube is still around in 2020, which I kind of have my doubts about, but I'll stay optimistic. Other than that, the one thing that you'll expect from me that has no set date is when I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'll review Avatar The Last Airbender. You'll see in the last couple of videos, I've had a Road to Avatar banner up above the end screen. That basically shows my subscriber count and how close I am to Avatar. It's a long way to go yet, but I'm fairly optimistic that we could make it this year. Let's see, let's see what happens. And with that, you could expect one more Spongebob episode review this year, but otherwise, this is what I've got for 2020. Hope you enjoy, happy new year, happy Christmas, or whatever you celebrate, and happy new decade, because it's going to be a very fun year, that's what I'll say. Goodbye for now.